My favorite image always changes because I feel like whatever is the most recent thing I shoot, I'm most excited about. And then I kind of toss that aside and I, I'm ready for the next best thing. My name is Maren Caruso. We're in San Francisco. I'm a native, born and raised in the city. I'm a freelance photographer. I've been into photography since high school, really. My interest in photography began with just telling stories about, mainly about people. Pursued that for a while until I, I realized that I, I didn't know how to control situations when I was on location somewhere. Really control the lighting, and it was more kind of rep reportage stuff that I was doing. I moved back to San Francisco, started a, um, assisting, and then got a, a great break, um, a series of cookbooks that I, were more reportage style of kind of telling the story about food. And so food became kind of my story. I, I get really excited about a certain look or a certain um, style, and mainly I like texture, so whatever lighting is gonna give me the most texture, and so obviously playing with different textures in food there's a lot of different lighting styles that I like to use. If it's a, a glossy, you know, um, liquidy substance, I might use a broader source to catch a highlight, um, just really depending on texture. So I like to bring out texture really in anything, but because I shoot a lot of food, there's a lot of different textures that I work with. I'm compelled to tell stories through my photography, and in the studio I tell my own stories or stories of clients that come in and wondering, you know, what their story is, what they're trying to communicate. When I have downtime and I do my own projects, it's, they're very kind of community city based. I've been doing a lot of volunteer work with uh, nonprofits in the city. I'm very committed to, you know, making some sort of difference, giving uh, clients a way to communicate their mission and then um, be able to help them fundraise that way. I get kind of bored sometimes of shooting the same thing, so I'll switch gears, whether it's switching a different lighting technique or whether it's a different subject matter. But the beauty of food is that not only are you shooting the product of food, but there's chefs that are making it. There are locations that you go to where the food is grown or produced. There's interiors of restaurants. You get to kind of shoot everything. So that keeps it fresh and exciting for me. One of the perks of shooting food is the leftovers sometimes. In ice cream shoots, you always need a ton of product. Those big ice cream shoots where we have gallons and gallons of ice cream that you essentially saw the, the gallon open and you only get a couple scoops per gallon. And so you need lots of scoops when shooting the, the hero shot. One year, we had so much ice cream left over that I invited my son's entire class and we had a big ice cream party at the studio. When I got this space, I moved from my studio in Oakland and I wanted um, a very specific type of space. It was a raw space when I got it. I needed a pro kitchen with every element um, needed for stylists to be able to cook whatever they need to cook, produce and be visible to the studio set. Oftentimes, you know, it's a dance. And so to have that visibility in the space we created that here. Also having space to store some props in the next room over there and to have the option of natural light it was, is really nice to have here as well, even though I end up lighting everything usually. I think shortly after I moved into the studio, I kind of wanted to revamp and just only have the best of the best um, to access here at the studio. And so I heard that Bron Color gave you a lot of flexibility and I tested a friend's pack and did a bunch of tests also for freezing motion. With um, liquids, I wanted that control as well. It was an obvious pick. I think just the control of brown color, it can't be beat. Shooting smaller products um, and just getting in close and really shaping the texture and having that control, being able to bring in these little Pico lights super tight and close and only directed at specific little spots. There's, there's nothing quite like it. I try to do as much in camera as possible and leave as little to retouching. So control of power is key. The, the most used feature that I appreciate the most is being able to dial the packs down tenths of stops. And for me, that control is key to getting what I need as quickly as possible. To be brutally honest, do not try to make a career as a photographer unless you are 100% committed to photography as a medium, as a passion. It's, uh, it's a ton of work, but it's a ton of fun, and you have to have that bug in you um, as part of your DNA.